Hey, what's up? I'm Ara, aka I Eat Zebra, and welcome back to the channel. Season 2 of Euphoria is coming on Sunday, January 9th, and I'm so ready. It has been a long wait, but it is almost over. If you haven't had a chance to rewatch Season 1, don't worry, I got you covered. Check out my Euphoria Season 1 Ending Explained video for a recap of where we last see our beloved characters and Nate for a nice refresher before Season 2. Speaking of Season 2, we have a lot to cover from the trailer and some general predictions for what we might expect to see. Instead of my usual frame-by-frame -frame breakdown, I'm going to break the trailer down by the characters and potential plot lines. That way we can see all the related footage together to make it easier for you and I to make predictions. So if there is something you see that I didn't, leave it in the comments below. We got a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. I want to kick things off with a character I didn't touch on in my last video, and that is Gia. If season two is anything like season one, and we get character-centric episodes with the Rue bio in the beginning, I highly believe one of these episodes will be centered on Gia Bennett. And, com and coming in with the hot takes early, I think her episode will be within the first three of the seasons. Let me tell you why. In the trailer, we hear Rue say, I love you. I've always been with you from before you were born until after you're gone. With a shot of Rue and her dad overlooking a nursery in the hospital, looking at what would most likely be a baby Gia. Also in an interview with Variety, Storm Reed hinted that Gia will play a bigger role in season two, saying, I think she will be evolving as a character and as a human. Hopefully she gets her own episode and we start to see a little bit more of her storyline. So I'm going to take that as a yes, she is. I'm looking forward to seeing more of their sister dynamic. One of my favorite parts of the teaser trailer is when Gia catches Rue dancing in the kitchen and asks, are you high? The next time we see Gia is in the car with her mom. Her mom is wearing the same thing in the scene where she is arguing with Rue. I would assume the fight between Rue and her mom would happen during a family-centered a family -centered episode. Since we are here, let's just get into this fight. Let's be honest, Rue getting into an argument with her mom is pretty normal. However, I think Rue might be having another manic episode and is off her medication, which again is not surprising. Rue breaks some shit and appears she runs off. I think Rue's mom has a hard time finding Rue and decides to call the police to help. I mean, let's be honest, Rue is running in the middle of the street while there are plenty of cars around to potentially hit her. It looks like the police eventually find Rue as she's wearing the same outfit she was wearing when she fought with her mom. The scenes with her mom appear to be happening earlier in the day, and the cops find her that night. Rue is going to be in for a ride this season, it looks like, but since we started with some scenes at the end of the trailer, let's run it back to the top. We open the trailer with Rue pulling up to what I assume is an NA meeting with a suitcase, but we find out more about this mysterious suitcase later in the trailer. The first time we will see the suitcase is most likely in this weird white people trap house, Fez is most likely working with a new supplier after the whole mouse fiasco. He would need a new way to make money, and he will probably stick with what he already knows how to do. Enter this group of dirty pill dealers. I'm calling them dirty because to be honest, they look dusty. Fez is purchasing the pills from these people, but they seem crazy, and I'll elaborate more on this a bit later. But we do know Rue comes in possession of this suitcase. I think in the shot of Rue in the doorway, she is agreeing to take whatever is left in the suitcase as the lighting behind her seems bright enough. And we see her leaving on her bike, wheeling the suitcase behind her while it is still daytime. If she is selling at an NA meeting, it is a good place to go, but also really, really messed up. But Ali approaches her on her way out with the suitcase Asking the $64,000 question, what's in the suitcase? Pills, Ali, pills are in the suitcase. Speaking of pills, let's get into what I believe is going to be a very problematic relationship for Rue. And that is with whoever newcomer to the series Dominic Fike's character is. Since we do not have a name for the character yet, I'll just call them Dom. I think Rue meets Dom through Fez. As Fez moves up in the distribution part of the drug game, he needs more people under him, which is where I think Dom comes in. But Dom is an addict. 
as we see Rue catching him clearly doing drugs. Rue, who is also an addict, appears to join in. I believe the scene where she asks, am I your favorite person, is right after she susses him out. Problem is, you shouldn't get high on your own supply, which it looks like they do. I think Dom and Rue fuck up the re-up and are short on cash from getting high on the product they were supposed to sell. This is when I think Dom decides to rob the bodega. We saw more of that from the previous teaser, but we get that shot of Dom and Jules in the car outside trying to drive off as the window gets smashed. We don't see Jules in the store, so I'm not sure if she was privy to Dom's plans beforehand. It could be why later on in a future scene with the two of them, she asks, why can't I shake the feeling that there's something you're not telling me? Which cuts to a clip with Fez. So maybe Jules doesn't know Dom is dealing possibly. However, I do think they're setting up a love triangle between Rue, Dom, and Jules. As we saw Dom more with Jules in the prior teaser, and in this trailer, we see Dom mostly with Rue. In the Dom and Rue high times, we see this clip of them dancing in what looks like Rue's room. She is also wearing the same outfit from the opening shots of the teaser, and they include a smaller bit of her solo dance number in the trailer. Just to note, this would also be in the same episode as Gia confronting Rue about being high. I don't know what is up with Dom's new character, but if he gets between Rue and Jules, you know, he can just go. Since we are here, let's get into rules. Rue's love and somewhat obsession for Jules is prevalent in the trailer. The song playing during the trailer, right down the line by Jerry Rafferty, is about someone professing their love for a particular special woman. We can see in some of the lyrics featured in the trailer from the first verse. I can't sing, so I'm not going to do that to y'all, so I'm just going to read it. It says, you know I need your love, you got that hold over me. When I wanted you to share my life, I had no doubt in mind, in my mind, it's been you, woman. After we get the opening lines from the counselor at the meeting about the difficulties of overcoming addiction, we get these lines from Rue. When I first met her, I was just immediately in love. As soon as I saw her, I was just immediately afraid to lose her. During the voice over for Rue's first line, she is clearly staring at Jules as the camera only shows her in focus with everyone else around her looking a bit blurry. Showing how Rue only has eyes for Jules. I think the season will kick off with a New Year's Eve episode in Party, which is where we get a lot of the footage of Rue and Jules, Rue and Jules together. As you can see, Jules is wearing the same outfit and her hair and makeup is the same. We see Jules come up to Rue outside, but what looks like maybe a fire pit, probably having a bonfire, I guess. I don't know. She says, Rue, how you doing? And then when did you relapse? These lines are cut by the profession of love slash obsession roommates that I mentioned earlier. I think this is one of the first times they see each other after the whole train station fiasco. As we first see Jules with Kat at the same party, Kat and Jules have been cool for a while and Kat was one of the first friends Jules made when she started at their school. Well, it appears the combo goes well since they share a kiss with one another. I'm assuming this kiss happens around midnight but I think some shit goes down after this and we see Rue leave with Fez and this new chick while Jules probably leaves with Kat. Rue's hair is styled the same as the scenes with Jules and it looks like she might be wearing the same outfit since the only time we see this girl with Rue and F Fez going to assume the boyfriend she's talking about might be Fez or whoever Fez beats up. I'll get back to that in a bit. But before we get too off the rails, let's circle back to Rue and Jules. I touched on it more in my ending explained video. But in the special episode with Jules, she shares with her therapist her feelings about Rue's struggles with addiction. To sum it up, she feels that Rue's sobriety depends on how available she is to her, which isn't fair to Jules. However, she is empathetic and wants to genuinely help Rue. However, I think she may start establishing some firmer boundaries with Rue to hopefully help Rue not lean so much on her for maintaining sobriety. One thing they tell addicts in recovery is to avoid intimate relationships, and this is exactly why. I think Jules trying to distance herself from Rue is what will drive Rue to hang out with Dom, Fez, and this new girl more, especially with her falling back into her addiction. The new girl that features in the trailer shows up twice, 
wearing the same outfit. I think the scene of her and Rue in the car is on New Year's Eve, like I just mentioned. But we also get this brilliant interaction with them to kind of show that's more than likely the same night. Where's going? It's New Year's. Why is it New Year? I swear my boyfriend doesn't tell me anything. I think they are in Fez's car, as we know Rue usually rides her bike everywhere. Also, Rue is in the back seat. I think Fez gets into a fight at this party. Based on the teaser, we see Fez beating someone's ass. It looks like it was during a party. We also see in the trailer Fez is wearing the same shirt that he is wearing in that fight clip. We also see, while he's wearing this shirt in at the same party, he catches the eye of Minka Kelly's character, who is new to the series. However, she isn't the same person as this blonde girl, so let's get back to her for a second. Like I was saying, I think a fight breaks out. Cops are probably called, Fez goes to leave, Rue and the shit go with him, and they stay at Fez's house. As we see there's a shot of them in Fez's kitchen during the daytime, Fez is wearing something different as well as Rue. The only person wearing the same thing is the new blonde girl. I'm wondering if after the fight with her mom, Rue decides to crash with Fez for a while, which is why she has extra clothes there. Um, This is also when Rue reveals that she has an amazing plan. Well, what do y'all think of Rue's so-called amazing plan is? Well, whatever her plan is, I do think Fez and Rue are going to get into some shit this season, which leads me to believe that we will finally get our Fez episode. I want to come in with a wild take here. I hope his episode is the opener for season two. I need a Fez episode. And with all the clips we've seen from him so far from season two and where we left off in season one, I believe his storyline will be one of the major highlights. And what would that be, Ru? Specifically with the new supplier he appears to be using. In the scene from earlier where we see the drug exchange, there's a lot actually happening here. It looks like the lady asking if they're ready to do some business, is counting about at least 20000 in cash in front of her. We could see Fez off to the side here, as you can see his beard and chain. Know who else you can see in this scene? This asshole in the black tank top. Now let's get into some wild speculation here. I think the fight we see in the teaser that Fez gets into is with this guy in the background here who already looks like he's a bit banged up. I think he is the blonde girl's boyfriend, Which would make more sense because I hope Fez has higher standards. But when Fez goes for his re-up, dude that looks like he got his ass beat and some of the younger kids try to start some, you know, start some mess with Fez. While they're inside, I think Rue is waiting outside and the older guy with the black tank is the one who snatches her up. Probably because he thinks she might be a narc or some shit because he's prob high and paranoid. We see in the previous trailer he slammed her against a wall. This looks like the same house Fez is in when we see him with that guy. If you notice, the guy is wearing the same tank top in all of these clips. Like I said, I do think he is dirty, but I don't think he's that dirty where he wouldn't have changed his shirt, you know? So I'm assuming these all take place at the same time. And we also see when he tells everyone to get naked, it cuts to Fez shirtless and he stares off at someone. Maybe it's Rue? I don't know. But I will say selling drugs is dangerous. That's why the expression, you end up dead or in jail, is a thing. As we see another shot of what looks like the raid at Fez's place, we saw more from this in the teaser. Not only that, I'm trying to figure out whose hand is this? Because we see it earlier in the trailer counting some pills and it looks like, you know, something's off. Then that same hand towards the end of the trailer is cocking a gun. So... I think somebody's missing some pills, and that's probably because of Dom, but let me know what y'all think. Anyways, let's get into some real messy shit, and who's messier than Nate? Well, I'll tell you, a love triangle with Nate, Maddie, and Cassie, that's messy, which is clearly being set up from the trailer and the teaser. I believe during Maddie's birthday party, Nate is going to pull up trying to get his girl back But I believe Maddie will stand firm on her decision that they shouldn't date. At her birthday party, we see a shot of Maddie, Kat, Cassie, BB, and Lexi. If you notice, Maddie has on the same black dress in all these clips. Also, Kat is wearing the same dress. But know who does an outfit change? Cassie. 
I think something spills on her pink dress, and she de- decides to change into a pink swimsuit for some reason. I'd say maybe they're going for a late night swim, but looking at Kat's face, I'd say probably not. I'm wondering if in the clip with Maddie and Nate, if they're looking at Cassie coming down in the swimsuit. But whatever the case is, I don't think Nate makes his move until we see the scenes at that little bodega gas station area. We can see Nate buying a six pack of something and outside that same store, we see Cassie crying. When he says that corny ass line, you're like a relationship kind of girl. That's funny because Nate was definitely clowning McKay for wanting to wife up Cassie before, but whatever, I digress. But enough about Nate. I want to get into Cassie in this scene because, girl, why are you outside crying at a gas station? I wonder if it's due to this clip we see towards the end of the trailer with someone covering her mouth. Her hair and makeup is the same in both. It does look like it's a man's hand. I hope it isn't Nate because it's bad enough he put his hands on Maddie. We don't need Cassie getting hurt too. If he doesn't physically harm Cassie, his toxic ass is still going to find a way to subject her to some form of abuse. As we see Nate yelling at someone and it looks like it is more than likely Cassie, based on the hair and general body type. She's also holding her shoes and wearing what is more than likely his shirt. I'm wondering if he's still having ED problems like he did with Maddie. Whatever it is, Cassie really isn't handling it well. And that's when we get my favorite, favorite shot so far from both trailers and teasers, which is... Like, that. like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. You guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier. Okay. Like sis, please calm down for a bit and take a few deep breaths. I will throw Cassie some bail, as she did go through a lot last season. And again, I'm going to shamelessly plug my last video where I explain all of that. I'm not sure if Cassie's going to share with the other girls what happened to her outside of her sister, Lexi, though. I think Lexi, like Fez and Gia, will finally get her own episode this season. We see her in most of the scenes with the other girls, but we also get some clips of her by herself. We can see her riding her bike, looking pretty determined. Not sure where she is heading, but I hope it's not into trouble. We also get a shot of her off stage at what appears to be a school production. We did see in the teaser Lexi was sitting in the auditorium seats, by herself while some people were on stage. I speculated in my teaser breakdown and this kind of further leads me to believe she is working as a student director for this production. I hope Lexi meets a potential love interest while working on the play. She did hint at the end of last season she wanted to be more free in regards to her sex life. Since we're talking sex life, it's time to talk about cat. We see in the trailer, her and Ethan appear to be on good terms, as we get a shot of them making out. I think Kat is going to be on an introspective journey this season. We see towards the end of the trailer, a clip of her hyperventilating in a mirror with a bunch of people around her. We do not see anything else that matches the clothing she is wearing here, and I'm wondering if this is something in her head and not real. Kind of like some of the sequences we saw with Rue. We also get hints about her having some doubts. Earlier on in the trailer with the combo that takes place at Maddie's B-Day party when Maddie says, there's a difference between what you should want and what you actually want. It looks like the person she is addressing has short dark hair, which lines up with Kat. Also, this cuts to the clip with Kat and Ethan. Who knows, maybe Kat is having doubts about Ethan and not just herself. But again, check out the other video. But moving on, we see a shot of Kat at her locker looking upset. It appears to be the same school day that Maddie jokes about looking sexy pregnant since Kat is wearing the same outfit. I love Kat and Maddie's friendship because they usually are pretty straightforward with one another. I think with Maddie breaking up with Nate and with the inevitable revelation of Cassie hooking up with Nate that they will probably grow closer to each other. Well, there are three particular shots from this trailer that I want to open up to you all to get your thoughts on. Who the people in these images are. I have some ideas, so let's just just get right into it. First up, who the hell is Kitty? Off the top, no, I don't think this is Kat. Based on the build, it appears to be a woman with a smaller stature. The person has blonde hair, but this could also be a wig. Of the three blondes we've seen so far, Cassie, Jules, and the new girl... 
the hair doesn't really quite match up. We saw a shot of Minka's new character earlier, and she's a brunette, so it may not be her. Whoever Kitty is, she drives a caddy, and it looks like she means business. You can also see the top of someone's head in the car as well, and that person looks a little younger, so maybe Kitty is someone's parent or an older cast member. Next up, we got this mysterious eye towards the end of the trailer. The eyes are darker, so we can eliminate anyone with lighter colored eyes. Due to the size and the shape of the eye, I wonder if this is a shot of baby Gia? Since we saw Rue and her dad in the hospital nursery earlier. It does look like there may be some bruising under the eye, so maybe someone ends up in the hospital. I wonder if it is the same person we see in this last shot here. We have seen the same person with the suit and gun in the teaser. However, I didn't think they would actually use that gun, but it does look like someone got shot. Or they could be sleeping if this is a fake out. Who is a shooter though? It definitely looks like it is more than likely a woman. We do see Rue in a blue suit earlier in the trailer, but it is a different color. Also, this person has their nails painted gold and Rue doesn't usually paint her nails. So I'll rule her out for now. The dialogue over the shot ends with a drug dealer lady asking, are you ready to do some business? And Jules starting to say, there is something you're not telling me. Line, again, I think we're being led to believe this is Rue, but I think it is a misdirect. However, the individual in the background looks like it is also a woman. I think it may be the blonde girl we were introduced to earlier. It also kind of vaguely looks like it could be Maddie, but I love Maddie, so I hope it's the new girl. We don't know yet because I'm more okay with losing her than I am losing Maddie. Do y'all think the person with the gun could also maybe be that kitty lady from earlier? Because she's also a suspect on my list, whoever that is. Well, whew, that was a lot that we went over. I'm so excited to talk about this new season with y'all. If you didn't know already, me and my bestie MJ from Great Area will be hosting a live after show on Monday night. So the day after the episode's airs, we'll be alternating channels. So don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell on both so you can be alerted when we are going live. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to seeing in season two. And if there's, you know, something that I may have overlooked that you caught, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. In the meantime, check out my other podcast, Preposterous AF, in the link in the description down below. And it's also available on all podcast platforms. See you next time. Bye.